Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the video. Uh, we're working on day three of hunting. Uh, pretty much the same setup, besides we got the heater today. We got my tripod for filming, just in case one comes in down farther. We put a lot of corn and soybeans out, and some molasses, or whatever that uh, liquid stuff is called. And uh, yeah, so I'm hoping today's a good day. We had a big six point on camera that uh, quit coming in at the beginning of the year and now he started coming back in again last night so hopefully he's in this area hopefully we can uh get a shot on him if he comes in and uh stay tuned guys because today might be a interesting day and a good day and there's all the corn we put out with soybeans and molasses it's a good morning we got a great view that's one reason i love hunting here is that view windows are fogging up a little bit because like i said today i finally brought the heater <coughs> and there's my tripod i brought the film and uh yeah so tomorrow's thanksgiving i might be back in the morning i'm not sure but we'll see what happens i also got a lot more sweet tea i got me a uh, <coughs> sunny day and yesterday i got some beef jerky we got a we got a decent sized dough down there at the end of my finger or something. Clear up, what the fuck? There we go. Just down there by the corn, you can kind of see her. So I was just sitting here and I thought I heard leaves crumbling behind me or out that way. But when I looked, I couldn't find her. Well, I was like, well, I guess he can hold the pit. I'll find out. Well, sure enough, I looked down there and she's walking up the road into the corn. And, uh, yeah. I was hoping it was a, not six point, but, uh, it's, it's a doe. But if, um, we have this big body doe coming in, if that's her, or if she comes in today, I'd say I'll take her out just to get some meat. But I'd like to get a buck if I can, a decent sized one too, like at six point I'm talking about, or 10 point or an eight point or just something that's a little bit bigger than a spike. But I'll take anything to have meat to be honest, because like they say, uh, the handlers don't even make good soup. All right guys, never mind. It's actually not a doe, it's actually a spike. But um, he has a decent body, but I don't know if I want to take him or yet. Well, yet or not, I'm trying to decide because I had no daytime pictures of bucks besides a spike like him and a couple other ones. But I think the other one my dad shot, so we're in a predicament here. I don't know if I want to shoot it or not. All right, guys, so here's a little update I have not seen a single deer since that spike, and that's been an hour or two ago. I've been sitting here looking as far down as I can and uh, mainly watching the uh, corn. Uh, I was hoping something would come in so I could use the tripod, but uh, nothing else. I'll come back tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow even after we eat for Thanksgiving. Then I'll come back Friday, unless I have something else to do Friday. We'll come back then. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of show you where that spike was and where you left at. So as you guys know, he was down there at the corn. He kind of walked out this road, the bait road we uh, bring corn up in. He, right there it is, and right there's the main road. He kind of ran up through there and went up in there. I just got that set up, and I had my gloves here. I was going to shoot him when he was right there, but I couldn't see him again. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's hard to see way down in the bottom without corn. Well, without uh, snow. But with the sun, you can kind of see that road. And you can kind of see that road right there. But it's easiest to see the corn, which is down there behind them leaves. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully today goes good for us. Because I'd like to get something. Well, guys, today's been a bust. Uh, ever since that spike came in, I have not seen nothing. And uh, I still have the tripod all uh, opened up and everything. So then if something did come in, I could have filmed it. But, of course, nothing else came in. So I'm just going to pretty much leave it, it, it up like how it is. 
And I guess I'm going to leave for today because I have to go stop at my grandparents. Uh, go to my house. And then I have to go to work here in a little bit. It's about 2.30. I have to be at work at 5. By the time I get to my grandparents and then to my house, the day's going to be gone. Uh, so I'm going to go on the way out. And if I see anything, I'll stop again and get on film if it's just a smaller dough. But if it's that one real big dough, I'm probably going to shoot it. Or, uh, or if I'm, it's like a spike or something, I'll shoot it too. But other than that, I'll be back here tomorrow and uh, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So, uh, it's actually day four of hunting. Um, ah, shit. We're in the same spot. Tripod's still set up back here. And, uh, yeah, so like I've told you in the, uh, video, we didn't see really anything yesterday. Um, today I'm hoping we see something before we leave, which we're leaving earlier today because it is Thanksgiving and we're having a dinner at our house and might come back later or might just come back tomorrow because somebody's told me there's supposed to be snow tomorrow and I'm hoping there is because if there's snow tomorrow, it's going to be nice so then I can see all the way in the bottom but uh we're about to get the heater fired up so i'm gonna get off here before it gets too much more daylight and then hopefully deer will start coming in all right guys so it's actually been a uh it's been a good bit since um i last recorded i fell asleep for like an hour a little bit ago and i ain't seen nothing since then and my dad's getting ready to leave because, like I said, today is Thanksgiving. And we're having dinner at my house. So I'm going to give him, like, a half hour to get all the way out. Hopefully he'll jump something up. And uh, before I leave, I'm checking my camera. And uh, I'm coming back for an evening hunt tonight, most likely. And then I'll probably come, uh, what day? Friday morning. <clears throat> because there's supposed to be snow coming tonight. Well, it's snow, I want to be in here early in the morning. But, um, I don't know if I'll film tomorrow for this video or just start a new video that day, but it depends, I suppose. Alright, guys, so we're back after we got our stomachs full, and uh, we're back for an evening hunt. Today, I'm not going to be talking too loud because I went ahead and opened this window completely. Cause that's one thing that fucked me over yesterday trying to shoot that spike. Oh, I had to open this window because I had it like cracked it here just so I could like spray that dopey and you know use my call. But when I went to slide it, it's so loud. And um, the spike heard it, it looked up and rang because he's like, Oh, I've never heard that before, blah blah blah, you know. But uh, I saw something on the way in, way out there. I'm hoping I chased it this way, but I want to get off here. I'll keep you guys updated, and you guys might be sitting on there in a little bit. Hopefully, I can get a deer in here, and I can shoot it on camera. <laughs> well, guys, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. It's raining, and we got a little bit of fog moving in, which you can still see perfectly fine. But I hate the fog, because hopefully it don't get too thick, and I can even see the corn in it a little bit. The fog is moving out, as you can see, and uh, there's no sign of any deer yet, but we got a little bit longer, and uh, we're going to stay till it's pretty much pitch black almost. I was going to leave earlier in case I saw something running off the road, but we'll probably just sit here a little bit and uh, see if a bear or fucking deer or anything walks in. We'll probably take it if it does all right guys so it's pretty dark right now as you can kind of tell but i'm trying to stick it out because i swear i hear something down there moving around with the wet leaves but it's hard it's hard to tell if it's just rain and wind or if there's actually something down there but i'm hoping there's something down there but if not this video will continue till tomorrow uh, i was wanting to end it 
after this video, or after today, but if we're not seeing anything, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this video end here, so stay tuned guys, because tomorrow we're supposed to have snow, we still have a couple minutes of daylight today. It's actually way darker than this camera makes it look. It's about that, not that, the window kind of helps too, but it's a lot darker than what this makes it look like. You just have to check my corn pile. It's way too dark and foggy. Hopefully with a gun, I'd be able to see if something comes in. All right guys, so I'm filming this on Snapchat because I can actually have a life, a light on selfie mode. We just got in here, we're just got set up. It's cold. It's kind of snowing a little bit, more like hail when it fucking hurts when it hits you in the face. I went ahead and turned the heater on back air. And, uh, yeah, I guess stay tuned for when it gets more daylight so I can actually talk to you guys better than on talking Snapchat. Peace out. We definitely have the heat on today, boys. <coughs> oh, bless me. We got the heat on. That's just medium. There's still another whole thing over there. Yeah, you really still can't see, but right there is the edge of the shady. Outside the window, you can see snow, so yeah. But we're gonna chill out till it's daylight and hope that thing decides to stay with us all day because I'm not sure how long I'm staying, but I need heat. <clears throat> the windows are fucked up a little bit because of the heater, but there's what I'll show you guys a little bit ago. It's a nice little coating. You can see the corn better, see down in there a tiny bit better. See over on that hill a little bit better. <clears throat> the only thing that worries me about this window being fogged up <clears throat> is if one comes in and filming on the tripod, probably won't work the best, but we will try it no matter what. I'm not gonna use no dopey today, see how that goes. But yeah, I got my gun down there, sweet teas and torch over there, a little bit of snacks, and uh, yeah. Let's hope today is a good day. It got a little bit more daylight, so I figured I'd pick y'all up. Uh, now, so there's a good bit of snow down there. Not much, but it should be able to see if something's walking through. The bait pile road looks pretty good. Uh, most snow is right here. It just goes all the way up to the fucking window. I don't know, but over there, let's see, there ain't shit. And up here it is, so you can tell what way it's fucking blowing. But, uh, yeah, look at it out there up against the mountains. Fucking over here. It ain't nothing compared to fucking this. Oh, let's hope a fucking deer comes in today. I want to shoot one so bad. So right now, I'm just freezing. And, um, I figured I'd hop on here. Kind of show you guys what's going on. Uh, the corn pile's down that way. Which I can see if I turn like that. And, uh, but my feet get cold easy, even though I have... Two pairs of socks and muck boots on. So what I do is I will turn around and show you what I do right here, right now. I turn around and face the opposite way and put my feet right up against the heater. Get my legs warm and everything. Uh, you got over here. You got the old four-wheeler. You can see how much it's snowed since I got here. Um, yeah. So this is what I do and then all I have to do is turn. And look down, the corn post on that way. I know a lot of people would say, oh, well, that's stupid. You need to be looking down in there farther. Well, you can fucking hunt here then because I am cold. And to me, there's no deer worth fucking freezing or getting hurt over. So fuck it. But if a doe or anything comes in today, I'm probably going to shoot it because I ain't shot nothing so far this year. And I want meat. I mean, my dad got one, but I want more meat than that. So, yeah, we're just hanging out with the heater for now. All right, guys, so we have a little doe at the corner right now. And we have a bigger one back there somewhere. Not 100% sure where she's at. Oh, I see her. She's right between them trees right about. Where's my finger? At the tip of my finger between them trees. And as you can see, the daylight and snow, it's right, that little one's right there. 
Alright guys, if you look down there you can see both of them. The one just moved her head, that's the bigger one up here close to that tree. Straight down is the one, uh, the smaller one eating corn. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for a buck or something to come in, hopefully. Alright guys, so I'm hoping them does down there bring in a buck behind it. I'm not sure if it will or not, but I'm hoping a buck does come in. Because I want to get something today if I possibly can. But yeah, we're still just soaking up the heat. Uh, watching them does down there. And uh, hoping another one comes in and has antlers. Because I uh, want to shoot something. I want to get it on film. Whether it's the biggest buck out there or not. Uh, just to get someone film would be nice. And uh yeah so stay tuned guys the rest of this year is gonna be good for deer hunting and uh yeah i'm getting back into the filming uh shit so yeah um next year might be a good year so that's the bigger doe and if you look right there at the tip of my finger that's a smaller doe uh, they're just hanging out eating some corn uh hopefully they'll leave soon a buck will come in but i don't know I want a buck to come in so bad. Alright guys, the does like ran off from the corn. It went out the road. Right there goes one. The other one ran down in there somewhere. Down in that thick stuff below the main road. With the bait road. There's that one. She's out there. But they're acting like something's after them, so... Hopefully there's a bucket coming in. I don't know, they're acting weird. I got one, she's just standing down there for no reason. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's windy and shit like that, but like, they were fine eating corn, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe there's something else coming in. They kept looking up that way. They kept looking down that way. They look out that way, but Last time I saw them, look was out that way, and then they ran that way, so. She's just chilling down there on the road. I don't know where the other one went. There she just took them off over the hill. The wind blew real hard, so maybe they're gonna take cover or some shit. I don't know, I'm trying to watch for them, see where they go. Yeah, she stood down there on that ridge for like five minutes. And she took off down in there. I don't know, it's hard to fucking tell. But I'm gonna be watching over this way, down in there again. Because if there's a bug coming, I mean, they were down there at the corn for like a half hour. I looked at my messages from when I texted my dad and said there's one in here. And I just checked it and it was a half hour. I don't know, hopefully a uh, buck comes in. Alright guys, so this background might look familiar from previous video. Uh, I'm back at my dad's spot because I ran out of propane, like I said, at my spot. And I was running a little bit later than I was wanting to, and this spot's like probably 10 minutes less of a four-wheeler ride. So I decided just to come here and let's see what we can do and see what we can get from here if we can get anything. I don't have my tripod to film, but nothing else I'll put you guys up on like that and try and brace you guys as good as I can to film but I'm going to be quiet now because I'm going to sit here there's a window back here and a window over here that I could put down it probably wouldn't hurt to put that side one down but this back one and this side one ain't going down because to me the main spot really to look is your corn pile because the deer know it's there the deer are most likely going to go to it I mean I know they can come in from all around it but, oh well. We got a deer down there behind that tree. And we got one walking in. Down in here somewhere. There's that one. And another one in there. Right there.
think they're leaving. Yep. Oh well. Let me see if that print one's a buck, and if it is, I might shoot it. Alright guys, so I have the phone in my face so you guys can hear me. And they can't hear me. I'm ducked down in this corner so that they can't see me. But I just looked through the scoop and the bigger one is a bow. So I'm not going to shoot it. I'm not going to shoot the two small ones. Hopefully going to wait close to dark and a buck will be in here. But who knows. I'd love to see a buck come in since it's the right I don't know if it'll happen, so just stay tuned and let's see what happens as tonight goes by and tomorrow morning. Because I'm not ending this video till tomorrow morning. Alright guys, so that the two little ones left. But that big one bigger one isn't as big as I'd like. So I'm gonna let her go. I thought about shooting her because I looked it up and it says uh three to six months is the range that a baby doe or baby deer can leave its mom and be successful and live well I'm sure it's they're older than that but like I said that other one down there just ain't that big so what can you do you just gotta hope for the best and see what happens and maybe a buck will come in before dark or maybe I'll get some tomorrow morning before I go to work